Hi, I am Sujit, uh, and today I am here to set up and configure Microchips IoT Area WG Development Board. Here is the development board we have, uh, and uh, you can see the form factor is very small, quite nicely designed board. It has uh, uh, some connectivity element. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi module. It can connect to Google Cloud or some other cloud as well. And this is the Atomels uh, 4808 8-bit microcontroller along with the uh, security element. So you can encrypt your communication to cloud. Onboard uh, temperature and light sensor is there here yes, for your ready use. And here is the debugger, onboard debugger. So from USB, you can debug your application. And uh, here we have one connector for battery, uh, rechargeable battery. So you can charge your battery from this USB port. And here is the charge controller. Along with that, uh, we have some pinouts over here. So these uh, pinouts are uh, micro bus compatible so you can plug in another uh, sensor module uh, additional sensor if you require okay so quite nice board and you can plug in some other sensors to make it work so it's uh, claimed by microchip so we can make uh, the setup ready within few minutes let us try so to make it run, we need only few components, one micro USB cable and host PC. So let's get started. Connect it. Oh, so it got power. You can see the power LED is blinking. It will open up uh, uh, in your host, host PC as one drive where it will contain some files. So you can see it opened up as one curiosity board okay and with some files here most uh, thing we require uh, uh, is one html file that is click me dot html some other files are also there but we need this click me dot html let us click it so it will open one web page okay so here you can see the first step is done your board is connected okay but it is giving some error this is due to uh, that uh, we ha don't have the connectivity to our Wi-Fi okay our board is not connected to any Wi-Fi network so let us uh, provide the Wi-Fi network to which we will be connecting provide the SSID here mine is uh, EC Tech so just type in EC Tech okay and choose the security type uh, and provide the network password here and then download the configuration file so it will download one configuration file wifi.cfc uh, your browser may ask to keep it or discard it just keep it okay so yes that is done now go to your download folder again open the driver of your board that is curiosity both and copy this file to this. I can simply drag and drop it here. Okay. So now let us put it here. Yeah. Done. So now it is copied. So this configuration file is uh, transferred to the board. And the board should read it and configure the Wi-Fi credential inside it. And it should connect to the Wi-Fi network. But it is not working. Let us see. So yeah, it is not working and after some playing around, I got to know that uh, we need to modify something. Yes, uh, so the board is not able to read the configuration file. So just plug it out again, plug in again. So the configuration file is removed. You can see uh, it is not there in this. Okay. So what we need to do to make it work is rename this configuration file and put all the letters in lowercase okay w uh, w y f i dot c 
cmc oifi.cmc put all in lower case then and just uh, refresh to know whether it is actually done then uh, again drag and drop here okay drag and drop wow so you can see the blue led is glowing then orange is glowing and green is also glowing so basically now the board is connected to our wifi and it is uh, yeah here also you can see the web page will automatic automatically it will go forward and as the your board is connected now it is uploading the sensor data the on board sensors we have one light sensor and other is temperature sensor so it is now uploading the data to the cloud google cloud okay so all cloud data uh, and cloud uh, this thing is already set up in the board and it is uploading the data now you can see the light sensor when i am placing the hand it is going down okay again so yeah it is real time it is working fine so you can see that uh, board is set up in few minutes it is working fine and we can plot all the sensor data whatever are available okay so uh, if you go up uh, you can see that the board is connected uh, then it is connected to the wifi then wifi through wifi it is connected to the google cloud and we can get the data and plot those sensor values okay so very nice uh, with uh, no coding experience you can start working on it and yeah it is working uh, so to further develop something else uh, we need to means add some other sensor to this and we can build our own sensor nodes okay and for further we can learn more about uh, google cloud iot co and develop applications what we like okay so nice thank you thank you very much for watching this uh, please like subscribe and comment thanks again bye bye take care